So people always ask me, have I always studied fishes and surely I should move on to chips very soon? When I was a kid, I loved all animals. I still do. I did my PhD in, in uh, England and the system there is a little bit different. I mean, when you do your bachelor's degree and you want to go on to do a PhD, you basically have to find someone who you can apprentice with. And in my case, there was an ichthyologist at the Natural History Museum in London who was a world authority on a particular group of fish and he was looking for a student. And it, for me, it could have been anything. It could have been you know, frogs, snails, but it turned out to be fishers. I'm very glad it did turn out to be fishers. So fish are a hugely successful group of organisms, but for me, what's so really cool about them is they live in water. And, you know, and water is just such a different place than, than living on land. So by studying fish, you, you kind of get a really novel insight into evolution. Not just evolution, also ecology, or all sorts of aspects of biology have been developed over the years uh, based on terrestrial creatures. But water and air are fundamentally different, and life in water is very different from life in land. And it opens up actually all sorts of opportunities that uh, evolution has played with. So um, studying fishes really gives you a, a unique insight into the biological world. Recently, I've been doing a lot of work in the Congo. The Congo River is the freshwater heart of Africa. I'm finding amazing, extraordinary, intriguing things in the Congo Basin. I'm going to be working there till the end of my career. There's so much to do. And frankly, it's really important because fishes and the Congo, the livelihoods of the people of that amazing Central African system, they're really, really important. And we really need to understand what's there so we can work out how to sustainably manage it. Basically, we know so little about the fish on our planet. I mean, it's kind of amazing, but um, every year we describe between 200 and 300 new species of fish. The most exciting thing that you can ever do as a biologist is pull in a net and find things in it that you've never seen before, that you know have never been described scientifically. But then you've got, a, you've got a puzzle and a question. How does that new species fit into the great tapestry of life? In my case, the tapestry of life of fishes. Who is this thing related to? Why does it look the way it does? Um, you know, what are the properties? What are the diagnostic features of this species that make it unique? There's so many questions. It's really cool. So to me, science is exploration. Yeah, it's hypothesis driven, but it's also major fun.